there, Dee Russell again, and you are about to view new consultant training number two. Now, before you do, I want to make sure that you have also completed orientation as well as new consultant training number one and sent me your code word as well as your homework. Those things are going to help this training make a whole lot more sense. <laughs> If you have completed orientation as well as new consultant training number one, sent me your code word for your prize as well as your homework, then you're in the right place. Last training, we talked about your first two company suggested goals. So I want to talk a little bit about goals and planning. And we're also going to dive into what now we're going to do with your homework assignment from new consultant training number one. So let's talk a little bit about goals. Goals provide direction in life and help a person to stay focused, motivated, and improve performance. Remember that new Consultant 15 step program that we're working on, as well as your two company suggested goals? Prizes are attached to those goals, which make them a whole lot more fun, but really the purpose behind them is to help you be successful quickly in your business. So again, I'm going to ask that you trust me and let's try together to try really hard to complete your new Consultant 15 step program program within your first 30 days of business, as well as your first two company suggested goals. I'm going to share screen quick, quickly here and just remind you what your new consultant 15 step program looked like. You should be looking at that on your screen now. Here it is. Just a reminder, if you do not have this in your possession, please let me know and I will make sure that it is in your hands as soon as today I can email this over to you. You should have completed, if you are in training number two, you should have completed already steps one, two, three, four, five. We are working on number six and you are currently working on number seven. So this is that new consultant 15 step program that I talked to you about um, in the last training and what I'm referring to in this training as well. Let's talk about those first two company suggested goals. So in your first new consultant training, we talked about a power start, which is practicing putting the product on 30 faces in your first 30 days of business. We also talked about your pearls of sharing, and that's sharing what we do in Mary Kay with those same people that were practicing putting the products on their face. Your homework from the last training was to complete your contact list. We're going to talk about during this training what we're going to do with that. So your contact or your wedding list, you should have 100 people on it. You already knew how to complete that from your last training, so I won't dive into those details. Now I'm going to teach you how to book those people for either a virtual or an in-person session so that they can um, try the Mary Kay products and you can practice teaching them how to use them. Now there's an old adage that says something like, fail to plan, plan to fail. And so before I teach you or show you your um, some examples of a booking technique, I want to take a look at a resource called a weekly plan sheet. No matter where you are in life, if you have a full-time job or a part-time job or you are retired, we want to figure out how Mary Kay is going to fit in your weekly plan. <laughs> and we want to plan how we are going to book that contact list. So a weekly plan sheet is actually available to you on your Mary Kay in touch website. When you go to your Mary Kay in touch.com, click on business tools. And I believe it's down towards the bottom is something called a weekly plan sheet. Here's how we're going to plan to book those faces within your week where you have room to fit it. So 
our um, company principles are God first, family second, career third, correct? I want to start with faith. So actually my annotation here is gonna be yellow. I love this weekly plan sheet because I love to color code. I don't know about you, but I love color coding. And I, just as an example here, um, let's say you go to church from, let's say you're an early service girl and we go to church at eight o'clock on Sundays. And then we might have Sunday school or maybe a social after. So we might be there till about noon um, on Sundays. Maybe you also go to church on Wednesday nights. I'm just plugging in already what you have or what I might have in my schedule to kind of teach you how to utilize this weekly plan sheet, okay? And so we might be at church eating or church activities um, on Wednesday night possibly as well or wherever it is that that you um, fit in your um, your faith um, that could also be a um, like a power hour in the morning a personal devotional time or um, anything like that Sunday school anywhere you fit in your faith I want you to put that on your weekly plan sheet first okay then we have um, family time. God first, family second is going to be blue. So I'm going to go to um, this blue color here. And um, family time for me is definitely um, our meal time. So um, I'm just going to put fam. And we try real hard in this family to make sure that we are eating dinner together every night. Now, sometimes their kids' activities and things that might um, interfere with that. But we usually try to eat around six o'clock in the evening. And like I said, occasionally there might be something that interrupts that will work around it. But for the most part, this is our plan to eat together at around 6 p.m. We like to play family games. So we might be eating dinner for 30 minutes to an hour or so. From, so from six to seven o'clock, I am, I have scheduled my family time. Um, this might also look like a date night um, with you and your hubby. And I would encourage you to schedule time for your significant other. So, um, you know, let's just say Friday after he gets off of work, this could be date night for me and my hubs, okay? Um, <laughs> kind of hard to write that in with annotating with a mouse okay so going on a date Friday night that's my family time all right um then um I also have you know some things that I like to schedule for myself so um that might come in the form of a devotional like I mentioned earlier um or maybe workout so doing my devotional in the mornings before I go to my other um J-O-B <laughs> or um, getting my workout done in the morning I probably would have to squeeze that in right here okay workout in the morning and then of course I need to get ready for my day so that would be my time as well get ready hope you can read this okay it is a little bit difficult to <laughs> right with a mouse okay so we're getting ready um you know in the morning now if you have a job a full-time job where you are working for somebody else typically that is going to take Monday take place Monday through Friday from eight to five so I'm going to pretend that I have a full-time job other than my Mary Kay that I work for someone else Okay, so we're going to put that on this weekly plan sheet because I want you to see you might have more time left than you think you do. So from eight to five, Monday through Friday, I work for somebody else. Not really. I'm my own boss. I do Mary Kay full time, but you might. And at one time I did. 
I mentioned in uh, new consultant training number one that I did have two full-time jobs when Mary Kay found me. I worked all day and I had a second full-time job in the evening. Okay, let's see. So we've got my time covered in here, family time. Um, IPAs, I'll explain that in a minute, and MK time, that's gonna be the same thing. We've got our faith in here, job, and recruiting is also gonna be included in our IPAs and Mary Kay time. Okay, so I like to do Mary Kay in pink because, you know, Mary Kay's pink. All right, so let's just say this was my weekly plan, that this was non-negotiable. These are the times that I have committed to either um, my myself or to someone else, my family or to my employer. You can see here that there are actually several hours left in my week that I could squeeze Mary Kay in. These are the times that I am going to book those faces on my contact sheet that we had um, from your homework from new consultant training number one. Y'all, look how many hours this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just say um, on Sundays at six o'clock on, I'm gonna spend time with my family. So I'm not gonna do any more uh, Mary Kay maybe on Sunday, but Sunday at you know eight o'clock at night might be a good time for you to contact um, the people that are on your contact list because that might be when they're at home. So you have to kind of be strategic too about when you are communicating with people when they're not at their J-O-B or <laughs> um, they're not, um, you know, running errands or spending time with their family might be a good time to contact them. So look at all of these hours that you can work your Mary Kay. Um, IPAs stands for income producing activity and an income producing activity is booking. So we're going to talk about booking today, as well as recruiting. Both of those things are income producing activities. So let's dive into now that we know, and your weekly plan sheet is probably going to look different than this, but there's going to be some time left over. That's the time that we are going to squeeze in our Mary Kay. And that is the time that we are going to utilize to book your contact list. So let's talk about your contact list and how we're going to book those faces. You um, should be looking at now on your screen, new consultant, uh, the new consultant packet, excuse me. And we are going to start with page 21. This is called a bubble sheet. So if you will turn in your new consultant packet to page 21, this is a fun way to start working with your contact list. So I promised you with your homework, I was gonna teach you what we were gonna do with that next. Here it is. We're gonna plug those into a bubble sheet. So before you start writing on this, you may wanna make several copies of this. Um, I can, if you would like an emailed copy of this booklet, I can also do that for you so that you can print colored copies or make colored copies. Um, at your local Office Depot or Office Max, which by the way, we have an amazing discount as Mary Kay Beauty Consultants at Office Max. So, um, or Office Depot, I think they're the same thing now. Um, <laughs> you can find that discount on your Mary Kay In Touch website. Go there and they can make color copies for you for uh, much less expensive than the normal consumer. So what we're gonna do with your contact list is we are going to write in the names of everybody that's on your contact list, each one of them, a name and a number. I like to put a name and a number on the, the blanks that you see here. So when I'm working with my bu bubble sheet, I like to fill out all of the bubbles first. I fill in her name and her number or his name and his number. And to track, after I get them all filled out, you'll put in your, your name down here and the date. We're filling in the contact name. We're gonna track how many phone calls you make and how many appointments you book. So I'm gonna give you an exact script. There's one actually, a perfect script that's given to you as a brand new beauty consultant in this book. We're gonna get to that here in just a second. Um, but we're gonna fill out this bubble sheet with her name and her number first. Now, 
when I give you that script here in just a second, what we're going to do is we're going to use it to call her. I will um, honestly tell you from personal experience, I get much better results when I call than when I text. It is so much easier for someone to not be interested or ignore a, a screen, a text. It is so much harder for them to ignore you or to, to say no if you pick up the phone and you call them. So call the people on your bubble sheet. When you leave a voice message, you're going to put a slash through the circle, like what's here is an example. When you speak to someone, you're going to put an X through the circle. So you didn't leave a voicemail, but you actually talked to them. Whether they said yes or no, you actually talked to the person, you're gonna put an X. And you're gonna fill in that circle when you book the appointment. Okay. It is so much fun to fill out one of these bubble sheets and see all these bubbles filled in. Now you are going to get some no's or some not right now's. I do want to give you a little bit of a, um, advice here. You are now in the appointment business. I want you to think about your hairdresser or your doctor or your dentist. And I want you to think about how many times you've had to reschedule an appointment with one of those people. It's happened. <laughs> And when you rescheduled your appointment, they did not get off the phone with you and cry because you rescheduled your appointment or you said that you couldn't make it for whatever reason. They put somebody else in your spot. So there is a non-emotional attachment with people that are in the appointment business. You are now in the appointment business. I want you to understand that because you will get some not right nows and you will get some no's and no means next. Try to remove yourself emotionally from making the appointment. But filled in circles are super exciting and it's okay to jump up and down and be excited about that. Okay, the next page that we're going to flip to is page number 12. Let's look at the script that I'm talking about. So after you, after, excuse me, you have filled in your bubble sheet, you are going to call them and you are going to say this. Now I know this looks like a text message, but we are going to call them and we're gonna say this. And if you don't get a hold of them on the phone, then you might text this message. And it's the message that you see here on the phone for brand new beauty consultants. Now, if you are a, a current consultant or you have been doing Mary Kay for quite a bit, there's also an example here for a text script that you can use for booking your power start. My personal goal is to book a power start every single month. And so the second script that you see here is a script that I might use as a consultant that has been in the business for a little bit. I'm not brand new. Okay, so you're gonna use this text script when you call, or if you don't get a hold of them, I'm giving you permission to go ahead and text it, but I promise you'll get much better results by picking up the phone and just um, calling them to ask them your question. So we're going to send this out. And then over here on the right hand side is going to, this is um, a way to book and coach your contact list or your bubble sheet to your debut. So let's talk about that. Your homework for new consultant training number two is to give me a ring and schedule your new consultant debut. We're gonna sit down with a calendar and we're gonna figure out whether that's gonna be done in person or virtually. If we're local, I would much rather do that in person or you and your recruiter do that in person, but I want for there to be someone there to help you. I do not expect for you to do a business launch or a debut on your own. I want to be there or your recruiter wants to be there to celebrate you and help you. We came with your starter kit too. You are not supposed to um, just figure all this out on your own. So this um, page 12 is going to be um, a way for you to coach your guests to that debut. Now I have some other scripts and things that I will forward along to you, but your homework is to get it scheduled. So after you're done with this training, you're gonna text me over the code word, which I haven't given you yet. 
And your homework is to just pick up the phone and let's schedule your business launch. And then we're gonna go into how to coach each of those people that said yes to the message that you sent them. Okay, I wanna go now to page 20. And we're gonna talk about passing it on. Now, at your business debut, there are going to be people that you love and they're going to want to support you and they're going to want to help you with your training. And so at the end of your debut, we're going to ask them if they would be willing to help you with a little piece of your training. And that is your pearls of sharing. Typically when I do a business debut, I let them know there are three ways that they can get their Mary Kay. One way is by ordering their products to their uh, amazing new beauty consultant, you. The second way is by um, scheduling their own party to help you with your training, with your power start, to help you practice putting the, the product on 30 faces quickly. And the third way is by joining your team. And so there's a way actually that they can sign up on the spot as a brand new beauty consultant. You have something called Besties Coupons where they get $25 off their full starter kit. If they choose to do the 130 starter kit, they get $25 off of that, which is an amazing deal only available to new beauty consultants when you um, have your besties join you on your team. But with all of those people that are at your debut, we're also going to talk to them about how you're earning your pearls and we're going to schedule what we call a sharing appointment. And remember, that's you, me and her or him um, on the phone over coffee or even a video that I can send and five follow up questions that they can do on their own time. When they do that, you earn your pearls. And I want to be very clear here. This is about training. This is about you learning how to talk about the business, and that's why I'm here to help you. Um, this is not about them having to join your team. Now, some people are going to be really excited, and they will. Some people are just going to do it so that they can help you, and they are, they are helping you. They do not have to sign up on your team for you to get your pearls. As a thank you for their time, we're also going to give them half off a product of their choice. Now, this is your business. You can um, put a limit on that if you want to. It can be half off of an eyeshadow or a lip gloss or, or um, something like that. Um, in training number four, we're actually going, actually going to be talking about money management. And so um, as your business coach, I would, say, I would not put a, a ceiling on that. I would not put a cap on that. I allow um, anyone who helps me by listening to the business opportunity half off of any product that they choose. Um, say they choose a satin handset. If they get that product for half off, then I'm offering them my profit, essentially. I'm, I'm not going to get the profit, but they helped me with my pearls or towards my next goal. And so I have no problem giving them that. But when I go to place that order, that's gonna be a higher value than just a lip gloss or an eyeshadow. So I hope that makes sense. If not, you know, um, you can call me if you have any questions and I can um, kind of let you into my brain and we can strategize together about that. I want to help you and I wanna make sure that, that um, everything makes sense to you before we do it. So um, this goes hand in hand with your second company suggested goal, the pearls of sharing. So when we're booking and we are um, booking uh, women and uh, men in your life that support you or and or, <laughs> um, we want to make sure that they're 18 or older and do not already have a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. We want to make sure of that too. Remember, part of our culture is treating others the way that we want to be treated. And I would be very sad if someone stole one of my very good customers from me. And so we don't steal customers. We want to make sure they don't already have a beauty consultant. If they do, we refer them back to their consultant. If not, we invite them to our debut. Um, I hope that this was pretty clear. Um, there's one more page that I want to look at in your booklet. And um, actually, I want to go back through here to page 13. In your next training, 
Um, your next training is gonna be over how to do a skincare class. Now there are several resources for this. Right here in your new consultant packet, pages 13 through 20 is a sample class script for how you can do a, um, a virtual class or a debut. Remember, myself or your recruiter or both are going to be there to help you. We not not be doing this all on your own. In the training, the third training, the new consultant training number three, you will also be walked through what it looks like to do a class virtually as well as in person. Um, I do not do anything really different. Um, the difference is I'm there in person to sport products in a tray or I mailed samples ahead of time to them to try on their face if it's a virtual appointment. Um, also on your In Touch, your Mary Kay In Touch uh, website under the education tab, look at there is something called um, party, um, party resources or all about the party, something like that under the education tab. And if you purchase the full $130 starter kit, then you also have a binder with a class script. So you have a lot of resources at your fingertips to learn how to do a class. Some of the wording might be a little bit different. The goal is all the same, <laughs> learning how the verbiage and how to talk about um, the product. So that is going to, um, this page 13 through 20, 20 we're gonna transition into new consultant training number three. Don't forget that your homework from new consultant training number two is to schedule your debut with yours truly. And we wanna make sure we keep your recruiter in the loop if she is not me. The code word for new consultant training number two is goals. So text me the code word and call me to schedule your debut for your prize for new consultant training number two.